Well, good morning to you and welcome to our daily Timothy Time. It's Thursday, the 22nd of October 2020. My name's Carl from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim in Norway. Today we're taking a break from the Bible timeline to share a special message for you. The message is this. If you go over to 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 3 verse 10, it says here, According to the grace of God which is given unto me, now this is Paul, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. And then he carries on down. Um, the, w my purpose today is to just show you how God intends to build your inner man. How he intends to build the, the edifice of your inner man. And uh, I'm going to take you over to uh, uh, Romans 16.25. It reads as follows. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel, the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith dear listener if you look at uh paul is a wise master builder he's he, he there's there's a if i can call it a blueprint that he's got for us you know there's um each of us need to lay a, a foundation and that foundation is paul's my gospel as we've just read in romans 16 Paul's my gospel. What's all in that? In, contained in that are, are the, dispensation, uh, the, the dispensational distinctions. Uh, prophecy, mystery, uh, Israel, uh, the body of Christ, uh, heaven, earth. And then included in all, all that is, is, is our grace orientation. You know, the book of Romans is where we start off. There you see justification, chapters 1 to 5. Our, uh, sanctification, Romans 6 to 8. The dispensational issue with Israel, chapters 9 through 11. And in our sonship walk, chapters 12 through 16. That's the foundational block that as a wise master builder, Paul puts down for us. That's Paul's my gospel. Then we need to build the walls of the edifice. And that's as Romans 16, 25 said, we preach Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. That's found in, in, in all Paul's books, Romans through to Philemon. That's the mystery revealed to the Apostle Paul. That's the superstructure. That's the goal and purpose of what God has for us, the church, the body of Christ. If I say it in a, in a very simple way like that. And then on our edifice, any house would need a roof. I mean, that's a no-brainer. So what's the roof of this whole thing, of this edifice? Well, I submit to you the roof is the scriptures of the prophets. You know, we've just read there in verse 26. But now is made manifest by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Faith. So the roof is the, is the scriptures of the prophets. That's Genesis through to Acts chapter 8, right? And then Hebrews through to Revelation. Do you see that? Now that's what God wants to build in our inner man, in our understanding. And that's what a mature saint uh, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, as it says in Second Timothy uh, chapter three. That's that's how you become a mature saint. You lay the foundation, then you build the superstructure, the walls all around it, and then you then you um, you put the roof on top. Now, Romans sixteen twenty five. I mean, you can't get any more plainer and simple than that. So I submit to you, if any in in closing for today. If anybody ever says to you, hey, the first book you should read is the book of John, and that's a famous, a lot of people say that. I submit you, no, it's not John. It's not any other book in the Bible, but the book of Romans. That's grace orientation for you and for me today in this dispensation of grace. Anyway, I thought it was that important to bring that up today. Uh, so we took a, <laughs> took a five minute detour from our Bible timeline, but we'll get back there tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Grace and peace.
Maranatha.